Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed local affairs that aim to advance development in the country for the benefit of the citizens and reviewed developments in the region. His Majesty the King praised the fruitful efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in serving Bahrain, promoting its growth and developing the government's work in various fields. His Majesty stressed that the Kingdom has chosen peace as an approach and dialogue as a strategic option and is committed to mutual respect and joint relations by adhering to the principles of the United Nations Charter which stipulate on non-interference in the international affairs of other countries, adherence to human values, tolerance, fraternity and coexistence and a peaceful settlement of a crisis within the framework of strengthening international cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness directed to increase the use of the Alternative Sanctions and Measures Law in parallel with the initiation of the Open Prisons Program. His Royal Highness mandated the Ministry of Interior to expeditiously implement the Alternative Sentencing Program in the upcoming phase, noting its importance in enhancing the Kingdom's criminal justice system in support of the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness was briefed by General Sheikh Rashid on the success to date of the alternative sanctions and measures law included within the government priorities framework. His Royal Highness was also briefed on the steps taken by the Ministry of Interior in relation to open prisons which will further support the effective rehabilitation and reintegration of inmates into society. He noted that security is the foundation of comprehensive development and expressed sincere thanks to the staff of the Ministry of Interior for their efforts in adopting initiatives that consolidate security and support the Kingdom's overall development. For his part, the Minister of Interior expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for his continued support of the Ministry of Interior in its efforts to further enhance its service delivery to citizens and residents. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and Chairman of the Economic uh, Bo Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, remotely chaired the EDB board meeting. Bahrain's economic progress was discussed in light of the exceptional circumstances imposed by COVID-19. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing joint efforts to achieve the Kingdom's economic recovery goals aimed at further creating opportunities to support the national economy and enhance the Kingdom's competitiveness in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the successful efforts of Team Bahrain, which has thus far supported the Kingdom's economic development plans. His, ex his uh, Royal Highness also noted the EDB's contribution to attracting investments into Bahrain, which assists uh, with diversifying the economy, boosting economic growth, and supporting economic recovery. His Royal Highness commended the public and private sectors for their contributions uh, to Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and noted the support provided by the legislative authorities. He stressed the importance of creating promising opportunities for citizens, a priority of the economic recovery plan, which must be kept in mind when attracting development projects. The chief executive of the EDB, Khalid Hamedan, presented the board with the latest economic indicators and the EDB's efforts to attract investments. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs is Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received congratulations of President of Bahrain Royal Endurance Federation His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa marking the victory of the horse AA victory of the bronze medal on the main day of the Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Arabian Horse Festival at Al Khadiya Farm west of of Saudi Arabia. Also present in the event was His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah noted that this achievement is thanks to the support and follow up of their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid on the Arabian horse beauty sport, which set a model for the beauty of Arabian horses of Bahraini production during this participation, especially since AA Victor Victoria represents the Bahraini royal team of the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation. His Highness lauded the effort 
members of the Ali Stud and its owner Ali Abdullah Al Ali, wishing them further success in the upcoming Bahraini participation in the Abu Dhabi International Arabian Horse Championship, which will be held in the UAE capital during the period from the 10th to the 13th of February 2022. The head of Bahrain's delegation, Abdullah al mudahki said that this achievement asserts the support given to the Bahraini participation from His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah, leading to its success. AA Victoria, representing the Bahraini team, won the bronze medal over the other competitive horses aged between two to three years with a prize of 100,000 Saudi rials after a strong competition in this category. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the president and members of the Bahrain Handball Federation for reaching the finals in the 20th Asian Championship for handball after beating the Saudi team 29 to 20. His Highness praised the performance and level of the team which has qualified to the 2023 World Cup for the sixth time, which reflects the heavy preparation that the team underwent and the motivation of the players to achieve the best results. His Highness praised the efforts of the Federation led by Ali Ishaqi and preparing the best environment for the players to reach their position. His Highness also praised the efforts of fans in supporting the team, which contributed to making this achievement. His Highness wished the team further success in the upcoming matches. The National Mixed Martial Arts team won the title of Amateur MMA World Championship for the public held in Abu Dhabi, organized by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation. In cooperation with the UAE Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the honorable achievement of the MMA team. His Highness Sheikh Khad expressed pride in the historic achievement, which is a result of the support the sports sector receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, which contributed to the development of the sports system and the successes made in various uh, continental and international participations. His Highness expressed pleasure with the team's unprecedented achievement in its first participation this year, which affirms that it is proceeding according to the vision developed for the sport and affirms that it is making successes in record time as it managed to reach such an advanced level. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the Deputy President of GSA and President of Bahrain Martial Arts Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on the occasion as well as the President Members and Affiliates of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation. He hailed the efforts of the Federation in providing the ideal atmosphere for the team to prepare for the participation, commending the performance of the team, which reflected their combat spirit and determination. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed expressed pride in the achievement of the team, adding that Bahrain Martial Arts Council exerted considerable efforts to implement the goals and visions of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to develop the level of martial arts, especially MMA. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where a draft law on patent system for GCC countries was approved. The council also approved a decree by law regarding regulating the labor market. The council then approved a decree by law regarding regulating the practice of engineering professions that aim to elevate the field and create new job opportunities. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended along the GCC Ministers of Interior the concluding ceremony of the Joint Tactical Exercise Arabian Gulf Security 3 held in Saudi Arabia. Upon their arrival, they were received by Saudi Minister of Interior and Honorary President of the Council of the Arab Interior Ministers, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Nayef Al Saud. The Arab Gulf Security 3 drill was an implementation of the decisions of their Highnesses and Excellencies, the Minister of Interior of the GCC countries, while the second exercise was held in February 2020 in the United Arab Emirates and the Kingdom of Bahrain was honored to organize the first exercise in November 2016. 
On this occasion, the Minister of Interior asserted that this drill comes from the insightful vision of their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, and an implementation of the decision of their Highnesses and Excellencies, the Ministers of Interior, in light of the unity of purpose and common destiny, and keenness to strengthen the Gulf security action, which requires raising the readiness and preparedness in addition to unifying ideas to face all the surrounding dangers and protect the capabilities and gains of their countries, reflecting positively on regional security and stability. He added that training and reliance on modern technological systems, as well as the expansion of the use of artificial intelligence applications, constitutes essential elements and sources of security work in addition to the exchange of expertise. He noted that strengthening cooperation and coordination in this regard, as well as uh, studying the situation and joint capabilities in light of the current data, would increase the capabilities of the GCC countries in facing security challenges. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Saudi Ministry of Interior for all the organizational and uh, technical support that has provided that contributed in achieving the main objectives of the drill, in addition to enhancing cooperation and exchanging of expertise between the GCC countries to face regional threats and dangers. He also expressed appreciation of the preparedness, competency and professionalism of the participating security forces. The exercise activities included some scenarios implemented in coordination with the leadership and control team, and the scenarios reflected the field and security capabilities in dealing with incidents. The forces carried their roles in joint integrated manners. The exercise aimed to train the participating forces to deal with emergency cases and enhance preparedness by promoting cooperation in facing emergencies and exchanging expertise. The forces showcased their skills, competency, discipline and high performance in carrying out their duties. The Minister of uh, Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, handed over the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit to national caterers from the Ministry. Bahrain Airport Company and the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and implementation of the Royal Order and in the context of the directive of His Royal Highness to all concerned authorities to hand the medal to frontliners. The Minister affirmed that His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's pride in the effort of frontliners creates a drive to exert further efforts in order to achieve the economic recovery plan. The minister praised their competencies and affirmed that this honor is an appreciation of His Majesty the King to their efforts. He stressed the need to exert further efforts to achieve the aspired goals in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The ministry's affiliates expressed pride in this honor, which creates a drive to exert further efforts to serve the kingdom. Within the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to provide 40,000 housing units and in line with the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute an additional 2,000 units to citizens, the Housing Ministry continued the distribution of units to eligible citizens across various governance according to a clear timeline. The Housing Ministry asserted that the housing projects add to the Kingdom's housing achievements attained under the Comprehensive Development March spearheaded by His Majesty the King and the unwavering interest of the government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to provide housing units to citizens. It also indicated that the distribution of the 2,000 units is part of the government's pledge and its action plan to provide 25,000 housing units to meet citizens' aspirations in this regard, unveiling its plans to launch new housing projects in order to achieve the goals of the economic recovery plan. The Housing Ministry received the beneficiaries from the East Head Town project and handed them ownership contracts and keys while adhering to the precautionary measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus pandemic.